Hey, 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 everybody. It is yours truly, Dr. Shamika Dean, the number one profit strategist for online business owners, helping them to hang up the hustle in their business by creating consistent income through course creation without working 24 seven. Now y'all know I had to drop a hot topic on y'all, right? So in this video, we're going to be talking about the millionaire mindset. Why? Because millionaires are not birthed, they are built. And there is a different way that they move, that they shake, that they show up on the scene. And we're going to talk about that today. All of us have the ability to obtain wealth, but not everyone does. And so as I was growing up, I always wondered, what's the difference? Why are some people wealthy and some are not? You know, I know that not everyone is going to be wealthy, but if we all have the ability to, then I knew that there was something missing. And what I have discovered after years of research, years of, of, of studying other millionaires is that there's really only one thing that separates the two and it is the mindset. So if we're going to help you get your mind right today, okay? So what I'm going to share with you in this video is unique because I'm going to share with you some of my favorite life-changing transformational truths that I learned from millionaires that you may know. And if you don't know, now you know, you know. All right, the first person that I'm going to talk about is Mr. Les Brown. Now, I don't know if you know Les Brown, but he is one of the top paid motivational speakers in the world. And he has an amazing story of how he got started. I ran up on Les Brown years ago when I was working with a network marketing company. And he was one of the motivational speakers that they would have on the calls with us. And I would never forget this one quote he said that changed my life. He said, some will, some won't. So what next? What that taught me is that millionaires don't stop moving forward. They do not allow rejection to stop them. They don't allow hardship to stop them. They don't allow haters to stop them. They have a mentality to keep pushing and to keep persevering no matter what obstacles are put in your way. So I'm going to say this quote one more time. Some will, some won't. So what next? So if you've had some people to turn you down in the past or you had some people that didn't believe in you, that's fine. You just have to keep moving because somewhere along the line, you will get the yes that you're looking for. The next person that I'm going to talk about is my boy Robert Kiyosaki from the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And one of his quotes is the only difference, and I'm paraphrasing here, but the only difference between a rich dad and the poor dad is their response. And it is their response to investment. Because in his book, he talks about how the response each of the dads had. The poor dad looked at it and he said, I can't afford that. The rich dad looked at it and said, what do I need to do to afford that? See, that taught me about the power of investment and how investing in yourself is so important for you to see increase in your life. It also let me know that if I really want it bad enough, then guess what? I'm going to figure out exactly what I need to do to get it. This next person is Dave Ramsey. He is a financial guru. And I went through Dave Ramsey's class when I worked at a local credit union. And one of the statements that he made was that you have to live like no one else so that you can live like no one else. Oh my God, talking about mindset movement. That let me know that if I want to be a millionaire, I got to think like a millionaire. So what that statement live like no one else so that you can live like no one else meant is that millionaires make sacrifice, right? 
They don't allow their emotions to, to rule them. They take control of their emotions. They take control of their desires so that they can live the life that they desire to live. And they understand that it means that they are going to have to be disciplined and they are going to have to make sacrifices that other people are not willing to make. So if you really want to make millions, you've got to say, what am I willing to sacrifice so that I can do this? What do I need to discipline myself to do? It may be that you need to discipline yourself to work more on your business. It may be that you need to discipline yourself from spending frivolously. Whatever it is, identify that because it is going to set you apart so that you can live like no one else. Now, y'all know my boy Eric Thomas, E.T., the hip hop preacher, right? This dude is amazing out here. So if you don't know him, make sure you look him up. But he has a quote that says, you've got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. Whew. Think about that for a minute. Think about that. What is he saying? He means that you have to go after this thing like your life depends on it. He means that you have to have a why that's bigger than I. See, what I gathered from E.T.'s statement is that what I am called to do in this world, although making millions is amazing, is so much bigger than me. It's about leaving behind a legacy. Because when you have something greater than you, then you will really go harder for it. And you will not quit even if it gets tough. So again, you got to want this thing as bad as you can breathe. If you study E.T., he talks about how he gets up at 3 o'clock in the morning every day, no matter what. So it's that type of mindset that you're willing to go hard even when no one else is looking, even when no, no one else is pushing you, even when you're the only one that's motivating you to keep going, you have to be willing to do it no matter what. Now they say, say the best for last. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> seriously, this quote is from myself. See, one thing about me is that I believe it so that I can achieve it. In my mind, in my heart, in my work ethic, I already have what it takes to manifest and make millions in my, in my business. So I already act like I'm a millionaire. Even though the zeros have not manifested in my bank account, I show up on the scene every day like I already have it. Why? Because I believe that I already have it. But the quote that I want to put in your brain is that life is is all about perspective. The reason I say that is because most people see where millionaires are now, but they don't know the journey that it took to get them there. So as you're on your journey to making millions in your business, you have to understand there are going to be obstacles that show up. But I always look at obstacles as an opportunity. When you look at it that way, you will always find a way to overcome every obstacle in your life. This journey is not easy, but it is possible. It's not for everybody, but everyone has the ability. So again, my quote is all about perspective. Because if you can change your perspective, then you literally have the power to produce millions in your life. All right, so that wraps up our video, but I want to make sure that you stay connected. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel Click the little bell next to subscribe to be notified when I go live. And guess what? I'm on a couple of other platforms too. So follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Dr. Shamika Dean. Until next time, I love you immensely and intensely. Bye-bye.